Hi everyone, what's up? Well today, it's a really nice but windy day of April 6, 2014. Currently the weather here is around 13 degrees Celsius, so that's around a little over 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm still not going to make those cold starts for the lawnmowers and trimmers yet because whoop, we still have a lot of snow on the ground. Uh, winter has been extremely long this uh, year. We had a freak snowstorm the last uh, few days of March and th last week has been really cool. Um, maybe around plus three, plus four degrees. So now, finally we're in the double digits and hopefully by the end of this week it's supposed to completely melt. So by then I'll be taking out all those trimmers and lawnmowers and starting them up for you. So today's video, uh, this is a request from a couple of weeks ago uh, for Ryan uh, RGB22. Uh, he asked me to film my father's Ford Ranger because he's looking to buy a similar pickup. So I guess I'll film that one for you since it's been a while since we last did the Ford Ranger as well as I'll give you an update on my Colorado and see how that one's doing. See snow is still here and pretty much no snow on the streets. And Oldsmobile is still here. Alright, so the Ford truck has been washed recently, so I thought I should make a good video of it. So over here is a 2010 Ford Ranger, which is the base trim model. So this is the one that has the rubber mats for the floor. So this is a six foot bed. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the exterior view. Uh, we have the winter rims. Currently it's running on P23570R15 Nordic, which is a pretty good winter tire. A lot of tread on this. So, this truck has been with us for around four years. We got this in June of 2000. 10 brand new with only 14 kilometers on the clock and for the years that we owned it it never ever gave us any trouble very dependable so uh, if you look on that video I'll be posting it on the video description for anyone who's interested that was the truck before so we added all the chrome tips to it to really make it looking sharp uh, for example, uh, this grill was chromed, originally was black. This wasn't there, so that was chromed out. I bought these chrome uh, mirrors uh, from eBay as well as the handles, as well as the bed rails, which I would like to add this on my pickup truck. And which is not seen here, uh, usually in the summertime we have the side steps. Okay, so now for the 2010 Ranger, uh, you have the choice of two engine options. In 2008, you had three of them. So either you can get the 2.3 liter four cylinder, which is around 143 horsepower with 150 pounds per feet of torque, or the larger four liter, which is a Cologne single overhead cam, six cylinder that generates 207 horsepower and 238 pounds per feet of torque. So considering that my similar Colorado is a five cylinder 3.7 it has much more horsepower and torque. Like I said in the other video uh, this has 242 horsepower with 242 per pounds per feet of torque. And it's one less cylinder, so it's a lot more fuel efficient than the six cylinder. So I'll show you the engine before I go and show you the details inside. Alright, so this is the motor. I think this is a double overhead cam, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, the alternator is way tucked down there. Awesome.
So we'll show you the inside. So this is pretty reminiscent of the older generation Ford Explorers. So this is the super cab model, which means it's the extended cab. So you don't really have that much room in the back compared to the Colorado, but it's pretty decent. So you can sit like two adults on the other side. Okay, show you the interior of it. You have easy to read gauge clusters with your tachometer on the far left, your speedometer on the far right, and temp gauge and gas gauge. Gray interior cloth seating. You got a generous uh, glove compartment. A nice center console that my Colorado doesn't have. Cup holders and an armrest with generous cargo space. Awesome. And I do like that Ranger logo on it. So, I believe this Ranger does have 24,000 kilometers on it. Uh, yeah, 24,327.9. And there we go. Starts right up. Runs like a sewing machine. Excellent. All right, I guess I'm gonna go shut it down because I don't have any gas in this one. Awesome. All right, now for my Chevy Colorado. Uh, this is, a, once again, a six foot bed. Uh, this is the extended cab. Uh, this color in my other video, it's known as Steel Green Metallic. And over here, I got my summer tires, leaf blower and a vacuum. To no cover that easily unfolds, so this is where I'll be putting all my lawnmowers and trimmers. I uh, see I do have the keys for the truck, there we go. Yeah, this is a 3.7 liter inline five cylinder. That makes 242 horses and 242 pounds of feet of torque. Same here as the Ranger 2010. As you can see, there's a lot more generous space in the back so you can actually fit two full grown adults in the back. See, this one here is not much space in the armrest, and you got a similar size glove box. No center console here, which is a little shame. Uh, easy to read instrument cluster right over here, same places as the Ford Ranger, except the gas gauge and temp gauge are swapped. MP3 player, WMA player, the Ranger has an MP3 player. Climb controls, easy to function. Got hazards here, got traction control that the Ranger has. The only thing I like about the Ford Ranger uh, than the Colorado is the transmission. Uh, the Colorado has a four speed transmission versus the five speed on the Ranger. So uh, it will slightly improve gas mileage if you have the uh, five speed. So a little more before I start this up, the Ford Ranger is no longer in production anymore. Uh, the Ranger ceased production in 2011 uh, just because 
they weren't selling well and Ford really didn't update the truck uh, so pretty much this is the third generation from 98 to 2012 so uh, 2004 they got the updated interior and in 2007 and above they got the much more angled uh, side mirrors well, the truck is pretty good. I, uh, my father really loves it. No problems with it, like I said. Alright, now for my Colorado. It's very too soon to give you a long-term review since I just bought this truck in February of uh, this year. Alright, let's go start it up. It's been about four days since it's last been started. I've been using my car to go back and forth to school. Sixty-two thousand seven hundred and two kilometers. Oh, sweet. Bank finally came through, and I'm holding the keys to a brand new Chevrolet. Hey, this song's perfect. You been outside? It sure is a nice night. How about a little test drive down by the lake? Awesome. Uh, too bad it doesn't have a four-wheel drive. It's a two-by-four, just like the Ranger. Ugh. All right, let's find a knee. And there we go, Vortec 3700. And here's my winter tires. This is a six bolt pattern, 215-70R16. It runs on 16 inch tires. And for some reason, I think the Ranger sits a lot higher than the Colorado, so yeah. So in my opinion, I like both trucks. They're really good. It depends on which one you buy. Uh, now the 2015 Colorados are out now. Uh, so far they have only two engines at the start. Uh, they either have a 2.5 liter four cylinder or the ubiquitous GM 3.6 liter. And in 2016 uh, they will be adding the 2.8 liter Duramax diesel four cylinder. It's too bad that Ford doesn't bring all of the European models in here. And if you're trying to get a crew cab for the Ford Ranger, uh, you might have to look elsewhere because Ford doesn't make these Rangers as crew cab models, uh, at least in the US market anyway. So if you want a similar looking Ranger that's four doors, uh, you might want to look at the Ford Explorer Sport Track since that's what it is. Alright Ryan, so I hope this uh, video helps you in choosing uh, the Ford Ranger. It's a really nice truck. Uh, both of them get decent gas mileage. Uh, my Colorado drinks a little bit more obviously because it's a five cylinder but sure it's a lot better than the old so that's for sure because <laughs> it's a six cylinder uh, 91 octane super gas so yeah. And of course I cannot not forget to do, give a little small update on my old LSS 1998 with the Vernable 3800 Series 2 supercharged the L67 currently has 153,000 kilometers right. sorry for the wind noise Oh, I got no battery. All right, let's give it one crank. 153,124. Sweet. Love it. 
Ah, it's only 7 degrees, so I'll probably it's going to warm up. Thought it would be a lot warmer than that. Alright everyone, hope you enjoy the cool video. Hope this helps Ryan choosing your pickup truck. Both of them are great models. Alright, thanks guys.